Hello friends! Today is the last day of spring and we gradually step into summertime. Time to relax and recharge our batteries for new achievements. And now let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. Shawa Denka proposed its project to develop silicon carbide wafers technology for next generation green power semiconductors, the new energy and industrial technology development organization as a candidate for project to develop wafers technology for next-generation power semiconductors, which was set as a research and development target on next-generation digital infrastructure construction in Green Innovation Fund projects. And the project has been selected for Green Innovation Fund projects by the Industrial Technology Development Organization. Shawardenko's business to manufacture silicon carbide epitaxial wafers for power semiconductors has conducted business transactions with leading power semiconductor manufacturers inside and outside Japan and has a global top share in the silicon carbide epi wafers market. In the project, Shawardenko plans to make the most of its resources including intelligent property portfolio and development know-how, develop silicon carbide epi wafers with a diameter of 8 inches and reduce density of deficiencies by one digit or more thereby reducing production cost of next-generation power semiconductors. One High Technology Group and Eargeo Group jointly announced to participate in XSAMI Corporation Capital Increase. XSAMI together announced to participate in a private placement in a leading Taiwan MOSFET manufacturer, Advanced Power Electronics, becoming the largest shareholder with 35 million shares, or 30.08% of the company. After this round of the financing, Honhai will become the majority owner of XSAMI with 51% holdings. Shandong Green RS Semiconductor Materials held a groundbreaking ceremony of new factory construction in Shandong Province, China. The company is currently conducting R&D business for mass production of 300mm prime wafer and 300mm wafer reclaim business. The new factory will be constructed as a new manufacturing base for the above two businesses. In the future, the company is aiming to produce 300,000 wafers per month for 300mm prior wafers and 100,000 wafers per month for the 300mm reclaimed wafers. Siemens Mobility and Mitsubishi Electric Europe have signed a memorandum of understanding to cooperate in a field of silicon carbide power model technology with the aim of enabling efficient and sustainable transportation and electrical energy savings in the transportation sector. Mitsubishi Electric silicon carbide devices have proven long-term reliability in the most demanding of applications such as traction inverters in trains. The potential for energy savings through the use of Mitsubishi Electric wide range of silicon carbide power devices in railway technology exists particularly in the area of traction drives. In particular, the full SIG 3.3 kV power modules contribute to energy savings and the downsizing of traction inverters. Texas Instruments broke ground on its new 300mm semiconductor wafer fabrication plants in Sherman, Texas. In a groundbreaking ceremony attended by elected officials and community leaders, Texas Instruments Chairman, President and CEO Rich Templeton celebrated the start of construction on the largest private sector economic investment in Texas history and reiterated the company's commitment to expanding its internal manufacturing capacity for the long term. The potential $30 billion US dollars investment includes plans for four fabs to meet demand over time, supporting as many as 3,000 direct jobs. The new fabs will manufacture tens of millions of analog and embedded processing chips daily that will go into electronics everywhere. In a science technology, a company founded to create a global energy ecosystem based on high performance, low-cost gallium nitride and silicon power solutions has signed a global distribution agreement with WPG Holdings, giving customers in all parts of the world access to InnoScience leading high and low voltage normally off gallium nitride hands. With the enormous amount of energy being consumed in today's world and government policies to minimize carbon emissions, the shift to renewable energy makes reliably delivering energy where and when it's needed more challenging than ever. As a result, the global demand in residential and commercial for energy storage systems is significantly increasing. Energy storage systems offer a wide range of technological approaches to manage our supply-demand situation, create a more resilient energy infrastructure and deliver cost savings for utilities and consumers. Infineon School SIG technology helps reduce energy losses, enabling high power density and potentially convection cooling. In this webinar you will get a deeper insight into Infineon's comprehensive solution offerings for energy storage systems, with a focus on silicon carbide and its important contribution to reducing losses by 50%. 
that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.